In this lesson, we are going to talk about the invertible and singularity of a matrix for a system of linear equations. So how do we know that whether a system of linear equations has a solution or not? So let's look at the invertibility and the singularity of the matrix. In previous lesson, we learned that we can convert the system of linear equations into the form of AX equals to B, where the A is a matrix composed of all the coefficients in front of the unknowns here. So we just need to check check whether the A can be inverse or is A a singular matrix or not to predict whether this system of linear equations has a solution or not. So based on these equations, you know that you can solve it to get the values for the unknowns x, y, z by multiplying the inverse of A on the both side of the of the equations, which is A inverse AX equals to A inverse B. So to get the X, we need to get the inverse of the A. So if a matrix A can be inverse, which means that you can inverse the matrix, so we can find the A inverse. To have a solutions for this system of linear equations, the matrix inverse or the inverse A must exist, which means that it must be invertible. And the determinant of the matrix A must not be zero. So we will use the case for two by two matrix, for example. To get the inverse of a two by two matrix, you divide the system with you divide one over the determinant of A. If the determinant of A is equal to zero, so can you find the inverse? Definitely you can't find the inverse. So the determinant of A must not be zero for any case of system of linear equations in order for it to have a solutions. Besides that, the matrix A is non-singular. So just think about it. If matrix A is singular, you can't find its opposite partner, which is the inverse. So summing everything up, the equivalent statements is basically say that if A is invertible, the matrix A is invertible, then the inverse of A must exist and the determinant of A must not be equal to zero and the matrix A is non-singular so we can solve the linear system to find the values for the unknowns. If any of these statements, the invertibility, where the existence and the determinant as well as the singularity is violated, either one, if the matrix A is non-invertible or the inverse is not existing, or the determinant is zero, or matrix A is singular, then the linear system would not have any solutions. So this is the interrelationship between the equivalent statements for the invertibility, the inverse, the determinant, and the singularity of the matrix.